Hello Year 11 and welcome back to one of the new YouTube videos for the GCSE History exam papers. This is the Crime and Punishment exam paper. It's 2018's version so you can get that off our website, they're there for you to download or you can get it from the Educast website. The whole exam paper is an hour and 15 but we today in this video are going to concentrate on questions 1 to 4. There'll be a separate video for question 5 and a separate video for questions 6a and 6b. So let's make a start. Question 1 then. This is going to require you to look at three sources and from those three sources pick out one similarity and one difference. The information before the sources will tell you what you're looking for. These are about changing attitudes to crime and punishment over time. And then that's repeated in the question, changing attitudes to crime and punishment over time. So to begin with, it's really important that you identify the topic of the question. You then need to make sure you're looking at the sources and you are labelling, annotating key information linked to that topic. Once you've done that, you then should be able to pick out one similarity and one difference between the sources. Try and cover all three sources across your answer. And as I said before, make sure that you really link to the topic. It's four marks, so it's to get you started and get you warmed up. And it is a five minute question. Okay, moving on to question two. This question is a source analysis question and it is focused on reliable and it's really important that you notice that it's question two of crime and punishment that is reliable. So that is asking you basically how trustworthy are the sources and it's needing you to make a specific judgment because it says which is the more reliable so you definitely need to make sure you make a judgment a decision between them you must say one or the other even if you decide that it's just by a small amount you can say that please do not say that they are equally reliable the exam board needs you to make a decision so, for your overall answer then, we are looking for two paragraphs and a conclusion. Paragraph one is going to be for source D. Paragraph two is for source E. And then your conclusion is for your decision, your judgment and your reasons why you've chosen that particular source over the other. Within each paragraph, then, what we would be expecting you to do is to look at the content, to look at the author, to look at the um, audience that's intended for the source, to think about the purpose, think about why it was created, and then to be making a decision about how reliable that particular source is. You're then going to repeat that for the second source and then in your conclusion you're going to think about why one is more reliable than the other so that you are finishing with a clear decision. This is a six mark question but because you need to look carefully at both of the sources and you've got a relatively um, quite a large amount to write, we would suggest you spend 10 minutes on that question. Really key, reliable means trustworthy. So it's not about the amount of information, it's about how much you can trust the information that they've given you. Moving on to question three. So question three is a describe question. We absolutely know that describe means give information. We are looking for a range of information so if you can aim for two to three points but that you develop those points with evidence with examples then that should cover everything you need make sure that you make sure that you cover specific time periods if they're mentioned in the question and make sure that you focus 
on the topic of the question. That's five marks and we would suggest that you spend five minutes on that question. Okay, question four, the final question of this video, the others will be dealt with in separate videos. An explain question. We know that explain means give reasons. You need to make sure you are aiming for three reasons so that you've covered a range and that you link those very carefully to the topic and the date in the question. To make sure that you're explaining and not just describing, you need to use the keyword of because so that you can link to the question. So you'll start with your key reason. This is one reason why this happened, this changed. Give some information about it. Link to the question using the word because to say this led to the change because. If you repeat that three times in three mini paragraphs, then you are well on your way to nine marks and we would advise you spend 10 minutes on that question.